All right, here comes the S21 Plus. There is a new version from Antutu 3D Bench. This one is actually updated just yesterday, 14th of April, right? Is the version 904 RB. A lot of updates here, upgraded test algorithms, optimized support for IRM's new trick cluster architecture, right? It has some new scenes. It has some new GPU test scenes. I want to see how much the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus with the Exynos 2100 will score using this latest version. What I'm gonna do in this video, guys, I'm gonna update first the Antutu, 2, okay? After that, I'm gonna show you what settings I'm using on the phone that we are indeed using the latest April patch firmware. And then the fun part will follow. We're gonna be running this five times straight to see how well or how bad apparently the Samsung S21 Plus will cope with this latest version. So stay tuned and let's see what happens. Everything downloaded, we are now installing the latest Android 3D Bench version, right? All the latest tests, all the latest scenes and etc. We have OpenGL ES3 2 here. We have also the new GPU test scenes that are based on Vulkan technology. Really eager to understand how much now we're gonna get. In case you missed my previous video where I did the same with this phone and also with the Xiaomi 11, you can check it up here, all right? Let's restart the phone to make sure that we don't have any residual apps. All right, the phone is starting right now. Let me show you something, guys. I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna go to software update, download and install, okay? You'll see right now the ROM that I'm using. It is with the security patch level from the 1st of April and indeed it is the AUC8. If I go back, you see the last check performed today. This is actually the day while I'm shooting the video. All right, okay. Now what I'm gonna do, guys, let me just kill everything, okay? No open apps. I'm gonna open device care for you. We have 41% battery. I'm gonna click optimize now, okay? Right, everything optimized. I'm gonna go click down. I'm gonna go to battery. I'm gonna go here to more battery settings and see, I am not switching on enhanced processing. I just want to use the phone as a regular user in a regular use case scenario. Last thing I wanna check is in the display, and now, without any further ado, guys, closing everything, no recently used apps, I'm gonna be switching the Android to on, all right? Where you can also see my last core tested with the previous version, all right? 668731, and we're gonna be starting test number one. All the results are gonna be displayed here for all five consecutive tests that I'm gonna be doing. All right, as you can see, the first score on the screen, four, five, seven, one, three, one. It is what it is, right? I'm going to go back and run it again. You can also see how the temp developed, right? We started off with 38.5, 42.6. Yeah, okay, going back. All right, let's test again. Round number two. All right, second score is better, 668034, all right? And we can see here the temps again, 38 .8, 42 maximum, then going down to 48. So second score, 668034, what about round number three? Let's start. And we have the third score, 629280. Temp going a bit higher, 
40 now, 43 peak and a bit more stable, stable performance also, 629280 is the third score, all the scores here guys, let's do the fourth test. And the four tests right now ended 567014. So this guys here is the fourth result. You can check the first, the second, the third, and the fourth result. Temperature started from 40, picked on 43, those five, then back to 41. And now it's time for the one and only last fish test. See how the phone will behave and what kind of results you're gonna get in test number five. All right, we have now the final and last result, 536512. I'm gonna put it here, okay? Guys, see the temperatures, 41 here, dropping, then reaching 4401, which I think is the highest one that I've seen during these five tests. And guys, if you wanna understand what peak performance means and what is the same performance, how does this differ to each other, then you're more than welcome to watch this video where I also compared the antidote on the Mi 11 with the S21 Plus. But I wanted to do this video only for Samsung, hoping to see what the latest results are with the latest version of Anto 2. So here it is, guys. I would love to see your comments. If you'd like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe for this channel. Please, you and your families, guys, stay safe. Subscribe will be really much appreciated thank you from the bottom of my heart and we're gonna catch up in one of my next videos with that said vst over and and bye <laughs>